Hey guys, so what is up? Red Pen Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and have a really great day. In this video, I am going to talk about my 6x1660 six Zotac rig. And this is a non-super, non-TI mining rig. And there is a video that I made back on February 16th. Well, I think it was on February 9th or 10th when I actually made that video, but released it on February 16th called Building a Cheap, like $2,500 Ethereum Mining Rig. And in this video, I was basically building it from the ground up. And uh, you guys can see I have six 1660 Zotax here. These are the OC edition, I believe. And I used a like a homemade like aluminum angle wooden mining frame that I built in like 2017. And I had some GPU risers, dot com risers, amazing risers. And I used a 850 watt power supply to power this whole thing. OK. And I also used uh, splitters and stuff as well. And I used a uh, MSI motherboard that I got from Space Goats. But generally, all together, this whole rig, like if you were to buy all these parts, was about $2,500 at the time. Okay. And so also, I just want to show you guys the power consumption. It was about 525 watts for the whole rig. All right. And so in this video, yeah, I was just building it. And the main thing that I was trying to do as well was to record the actual profitability of this rig. And so it was publicly available in that video in the description. You guys could go to the Ethermine link here and see exactly how much this rig was mining in terms of just direct mining Ethereum. We weren't going to do nice hash or something in the Bitcoin. We were just mining straight Ethereum and just to see how long it would take to achieve break even. All right. Including the electrical cost. All right. So that is what I want to go through with you guys right now. But you guys can just see here verifying the 1660 uh, Zotac rig getting about 156 mega hash. Well, uh, according to Hive OS, yeah, yeah 156.9 mega hash. All right. You can see all the true numbers here, the power consumptions. I did have one issue with one card, I believe. I don't know what it just started uh, crashing the rig. So I basically put the core back to zero. I brought down the memory and uh, it's been fine ever since. But yeah, anyways, I just want to talk with you guys, you know, how much Ethereum and just all the numbers here in this video. Okay. And I'm also want to talk about later, like how we were able to break even in about 88 days. So the balance here, you can see in, in the Ethereum address that we've been binding to is about 0 0.67384 Ethereum. And as of recording this video, exactly May 8th of 2021, all right, is uh, $2,610.67, okay? And uh, just uh, let's just go through my notepad here that I wrote down, all right? So this is all the numbers here that you guys should just understand. If you think I'm lying, I I'm not lying. This is all true. This is all real, all right? real-time numbers here and profitability and uh, uh, the payouts and everything, uh, which I'll show you guys. I'll talk about this in a second. I have some uh, just s some things that you guys should know, okay? But anyways, going back to this, all right, so you guys know the rig was about $2,500, non-super, non-TI rig, getting about 156.9 mega hash, okay? Each card does about 26 to 27 mega hash. I started direct mining Ethereum February 10th of 2021, we achieved break even with the electric, all right, May 8th of 2021, so 88 days. The total power consumption of the rig is 525 watts system total. You guys saw on this part right here, all right, this is including just motherboard, everything, risers, GPUs, everything. Okay, now we're just going to calculate the power consumption here. So this is my math here. Uh, so 0 0.525 watts times 24 hours, all right? And then that equals 12.6, 12.6 times 0 0.08 cents, which is 8 cents per kilowatt hour. And then that totals about $1 a day in electric, all right, in this rig, USD. Then we need to do the calculation, 88 days times $1, and that equals about $88.70. So as of recording right now, all right, the 0 0.0678384 Ethereum mined to that address is worth about $2,610, all right? So then the initial cost of the rig was around $2,500 plus the electric, which is $88, all right? And that is total about $2,588 USD. And so there you guys go. We achieved break even in about 88 days if I sold the Ethereum right now, which I am not. <laughs> so um, you can say that, uh, yeah, maybe we haven't achieved break even because I'm not selling. But anyways, guys, so there you go. I wow. For anyone that has been buying GPUs, I would say back in February. All right. So exact time when I started mining with this rig, 
is I would say most people who have been mining since then have now been essentially probably breaking even on those rigs because it, this is like exactly real time profitability here that I'm showing you guys here. You can see all my payouts, okay, on this rig. First payout I got was on February 17th, but I started mining on February 10th, okay? But you can see here every, like, uh, let's see here, uh, seven days I was getting a payout, all right? Every, actually, on, on Ethermine, I, I guess the payouts are every seven days or so, yeah. So 168.1 hours, you can see here. So I wasn't hitting the initial, my I guess my payout was at, at like 0 0.1 setting, but Ethermine payouts every seven days. So you can see here though, the Ethereum that I was getting, 0 0.07, 0 0.08, 0 0.06, uh, 0 0.05. But uh, actually we can look at the graphical uh, last 100 payouts. Okay, so you can see here, this, this is a better representation, <laughs> looks much better. But you can see here, we've been getting less and less Ethereum as time goes on, all right? So from February all the way up until April, okay? And that, that's obviously due to, you guys know why, the market is super hot right now. So correlating with that is the network difficulty uh, is just going up. The network hash rate is going up and saying everyone has been turning on their rigs. Uh, another thing to correlate is that the, the block rewards, okay, gas fees and stuff, whenever it is expensive, you know, to send Ethereum and when we see, you know, sometimes block rewards, five Ethereum, eight Ethereum, I don't know, higher than three Ethereum is really profitable, okay? So there's been some lulls, there's been some times when the block rewards are maybe two and a half or maybe lower and you can see that that is pretty much correlating to the whole network of everyone getting less and less Ethereum, all right? Yielding less ethereum so this is uh yeah it, it, it just goes to show that you know profitability changes all the time but uh mainly mining right now ha is is extremely profitable you guys know that you guys know that but that is due to the whole market going up as well okay it's not just ethereum but bitcoin is i would say just bringing up all the altcoins right now and the altcoins are are doing way better okay so in terms of dominance Ethereum is 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 amazing right now. Okay, I believe it's as of recording it's like 15.5 Ethereum for one Bitcoin and I remember last year it was like 40 Ethereum for one Bitcoin. All right? So look at that opportunity cost there. Oh man, if you're if you're trading between Ethereum and Bitcoin, man, you can get essentially more Bitcoin, right? So, but anyways, this is really cool. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this test here on a mining rig that I built on February 10th and it has essentially broken even in about 88 days, okay? Which which is amazing to me. I I I mean, it's I mean, it's not amazing to me. It's like it's because the market's so profitable right now, as you guys know, right? But yeah, this this rig is really nice. I I really enjoy this. You guys probably probably saw that video. But anyways, guys, that's it. And uh, actually, oh, one more point. You guys are probably going to say like Red Panda, but you know, these GPUs that you bought back then may have costed more than uh, what they're worth. And you know what? The 1660 non-super, non-TIs, which I told you, which I have right here, these cards were not expensive back then. They were still like maybe 300, 350 you could buy on eBay. As of recently sold, people, looks like they've been buying them for like 265, 355. So, you know, you add, you do the math there. So then 300 or 350 times six is still less than $200, right? So, and then the other $500 was for the rest of the parts, the 850 watt power supply, motherboard, RAM, CPU, SSD, that, 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 that's all cheap. And then the GPU risers, which was about 50, $60. Okay. So really, honestly, during that time making the rig, it, it was very achievable. All right. Very achievable to build, but now it's, it's impossible. It's impossible. Definitely definitely really hard to uh, if you were to just get 1660 supers which i i would recommend getting supers rather than the 1660s uh, they're going for over 500 if not 600 dollars right now on ebay according to recently sold okay so you're literally buying these gpus at the tippity top of when everything is profitable and who knows when it, when and if if the market will go down you know that's a risk you guys will have to understand if you want to make that risk but anyways guys that's it let me know your thoughts of my numbers here, uh, if I did anything wrong or explained anything wrong. But uh, otherwise, I think generally everyone who's been mining since February, beginning of February, uh, especially mining Ethereum, have probably got their money back, all right, in less than maybe two or three months, okay? Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one, and peace out.